Hello, hi! It is I, MX Moonstar here, and today's video is a guide all about those pesky critters and fish in Hello Kitty Island Adventure! Now, as you might be able to tell from the tone of my voice, I have been fishing and catching bugs um, for a little while. When I say a little while, for an hour and a half worth of footage. Okay, it felt like an eternity. <laughs> but I have finished collecting all the bugs, all the fish, all the different sizes of fish, and I am making a guide that's gonna have all the critters and fish in one big video so you can get it done as well hopefully this helps somebody um, and yeah let's get started first things first for fish you need to level up bats you see when you're catching fish and you bring bats along with you he has a companion benefit that will help you catch some of the harder things then, the same thing goes for catching bugs with Garopi. He also has a companion benefit that slows down the bugs, which you will need, especially for the Cloud Dragon. Now, in order to get the fishing rod, you'll need to level up bats. And then for the net, you'll need to level up Garopi. And the final tool you'll need is the Bubble Wand, which you will have had two of completed these quests first before you can get it. So you would have had to have completed Brief Revival, Comic Relief, Enraging Ruins, Deep Diving, Finding Flippers, Open the Nature Preserve, Bring Back the Swing, Expresso Machine Repair. Also in order to catch some of the more rare fish you'll have needed to have completed certain quests like Revive the Oasis, Fire Up the Volcano and Enraging Ruins. I know for definite you need to complete Revive the Oasis quests for some of the fish in the caves because there'll be no water in the cave so there's no fish, but I can't remember which quests you need to complete for the Caldera? Caldry? <laughs> I don't know how you say it, um, fish. But if I had to take a guess, I would say it was the Fire Up the Volcano and Enraging Ruins quests that you need to work on for that. Um, all the information that I've got was from the wiki, which I'll link below. Now, there are a ton of different guides out there. Some of them are really, really good. Like, most of them are really, really good. But the reason why I've decided to make a guide is because I couldn't find one that covered both the critters and the fish at the same time and most of them didn't have the cloud island fish and critters combined into one big huge old guide. So that's why I thought I'd make this one. So what's the deal with bait by the way? So Bats' shop has fishing rods and like bait all around it So and it's actually called a comic and bait shop. But at this time of making this guide, he does not sell any bait. What a pain in the bum. <laughs> but you can use things from your inventory as bait. I found when a more rare fish was ignoring my bait, I used a food dish and it seemed to help. Like I used a starry sky shake on one of the cloud island fishes. But yeah, so I'd say if you're sat there for a while waiting for a larger fish to bite, try the bait and see if it works for you and let me know if it does work for you in the comments below. Perhaps in a future update, bats will have some really cool bait for us to use. If you're not having any luck catching the fish you want, double check that the time of day is correct. And if it is, try changing the time to a different one. Now obviously this isn't going to work for some of them that are only available at one particular time, but you could reload the area and go back in. You can level up Peckle and you can change the time with him, or you can put a bed in a house and you can change the time like that. For the times that a critters and fish are available from, I'll give you the times that the wiki lists, but 
You can also follow along with the time of day that I caught them if you prefer. And there is one particular critter who is the reason why I've included my times. One last thing, I want to go over all the different symbols with you. And what I mean by that is, so you know how you can change the time of day? And like at the top, it shows you what time of day it is. So, morning. Morning is this symbol. You can see that there's a sun and a little arrow pointing up. That means um, dawn, sunrise. Daytime is what I would believe is the afternoon. And there's a bright big sun, maybe the middle of the day. That's what, maybe that's what it is. And then evening is the sun with an arrow going down. So that's going to be sunset. And then nighttime obviously is the moon symbol and it's um, going to be very late at night and it's going to be very dark. Now with the critters, I'm going to have to give you the general area which they are found in because they tend to move around a lot. But with the fish, I can be a little bit more descriptive of where I caught each fish. Oh my god, this intro is almost, this intro is seven minutes long, oh my god. <laughs> okay. Um. But yeah, with that out of the way, let's go to the seaside resort. We're going to catch all the fish and critters marked with a tropical icon. So starting off our guide is the coastal clamfish. They are available at evening and nighttime only. I caught them all at nighttime. That's all sizes at nighttime. First up is the tiny one. Go to the resort gate mailbox and go left. Second is the regular medium coastal clamfish. Go to the resort gate mailbox. Then you just want to go straight up. It's the opposite way to where you just caught the tiny coastal clamfish from. For the large coastal clamfish, you're going to want to head up to the pier that's not too far away from Choco Cat and the comedy club. Next we have the citrus fin. They are only available to catch in the morning, daytime, evening and nighttime. Oh, <laughs> that means they're available all times. But I caught mine at nighttime. For the tiny one, you're going to want to go where Puchacho stands and follow the path that heads along to Choco Cat's tent. Just behind the Gudetama sign, there is a pond where you can catch the tiny ones. In that same pond, you'll also be able to catch the regular sized citrus fin. For the large one, head to the resort gate and go down the stony path and go to the large body of water on the left of the stony path. Next is the summer soul. The summer soul are only available at morning and daytime. I call all sizes at daytime. For the tiny one, you're going to want to head to Choco Cat's tent and head straight down towards the ocean chest. Jump up on the hill and fish next to the waterfall. For the regular size ones, go back to that ocean themed chest and head towards the palm tree and fish in the body of water next to it. For the large ones, go to the resort plaza, go up the ladder, follow the stony path until you reach the next ladder, then jump across the waterfall and fish next to the resort roundabout. Mini game puzzle thing. Next is the peppermint tetra. They are only available at morning and daytime. I caught them all in the daytime. For the tiny size, head to the resort beach area that's closest to the resort gate area, where there are four blue umbrellas close together. Now, you may have to ignore some of the other fish in order to get this one. The medium sized one can be found by fishing on the edge of the resort pier where the visitor house is located and the large ones are found by fishing on the edge of the resort pier not too far away from Bats's shop. Next we have the seaweed skipper who can be found at all times. I caught them all at night time except for the large one which I caught at morning. For the tiny one, head to the resort gate and go down towards the sandbar dart flagpole racingy and fish in the sea next to it. 
for the regular one, go down to the ocean closest to the resort gate, the same place where you caught the tiny coastal clamfish from. For the large one, go to the resort beach and fish in the ocean, not too far away from the stony path that's on the grass bit. Our last tropical fish is, well, <laughs> he's got a good name, it's the tropical sandfish. They are only available in the daytime and evening. I caught all of them in the evening. For the tiny one, head towards the puzzle room next to Tuxedo Sam's shop, then go across the water to the group of mini islands, swim to the first bit of land you see, then jump across to the island that's next to that one. For the regular sized one, starting from the place you left off, for the tiny one, swim up to the next bit of big island you see, the middle island from where you were before and the hopscotch mailbox and fish off the big rock with the rope next to it. For the large one, go diagonal from where you just were. You want to be facing in the general direction of the kelp and the two big blue rocks. Now we're moving on to the seaside resort bugs, or critters as they're called in this game. Starting off with the blue berry fly. It's available at all times, but I caught it in the evening. You can find it around the resort gate area near where Choco Cat is. Then we're moving on to the castle crab, who is available at morning, daytime and evening. I caught mine in the evening. They are found on the seaside resort beach on the sandy bits. Next is the Dragon Darter, who is found in the morning, daytime and nighttime, but I caught them at nighttime. They are in the area by the ponds, just up above the seesaw, the seesaw? <laughs> the seaside resort mailbox. Dunebug is next, who's around in the daytime and at nighttime. I caught them at nighttime. They tend to be hiding in the bushes next to the puzzle room on Hotscotch Island, which is the same island where the Hotscotch Island mailbox is located on there. Try saying that 10 times fast, eh? <laughs> next we have the Honey Bandits. They are available in the morning, daytime and evening. I caught mine in the evening. They are located in the area above Tuxedo Sam's shop next to the visitor house number two and you can also find them around the visitor houses on the cozy islands. Then we have Scruffy Shortlegs who is found in the evening and at night time. I found them in the evening, they are in the puzzle room not too far away from Tuxedo Sam's shop. You need to be slow upon entering. But don't worry if you mess it up, you can just fast travel to another location and just come back and try again later. He'll still be there waiting for you, I promise. Now we have the Sun Slime! Finally, the last of the critters in the seaside resort is the Sun Slime. I found mine in the evening, but they are available at morning, evening, and nighttime. They are found on the beach next to where the four blue umbrellas are and sometimes you can find some up on the sandy areas near Choco Cat's tent. Now we're moving on to Rainbow Reef. We're going to catch all the fish and critters marked with an aquatic icon, starting with the fish. First up, we have the Amethyst Snipe. Snipe? Snipey? I, I don't know. <laughs> they are available at all times, but I caught the tiny one in the evening, the regular and the large at night time. The tiny one is found by taking a left by the sunken ship mailbox and heading towards Mount Hothead's pier, then you just want to fish on the biggest box of free. The regular sized one I found is on the second biggest box from where you caught the tiny sized one. For the large one, I caught it on the same box as the regular one. Now we're moving on to the briny clamfish, briny? I, I, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know how you say that. 
They are found in the evening and at night time. I found them in the evening. The tiny one is located on the cozy islands next to the bridge between the seaside resort and the cozy island, which is just below visitor house number eight. The regular sized one is found just below visitor house number seven on the cozy island and the large one is located on the first smallest box of five in the rainbow reef not too far away from the hole. <laughs> Sounds ominous. <laughs> now we're moving on to the electric tang. They are found in the morning and during the daytime. I found them during the day. The tiniest one is found by fishing on the edge of the pier, that which is found by going through the seaside resort gate, then heading past the mermidifier and following that path until you reach that small pier. The regular size one is found by going to the kelp maze and heading towards the four boxes on the surface of the water, you're going to want to fish from the second box. The large one is found by fishing at the same pier as you caught the tiny one from. Next we have the galaxy grouper. I, I no idea how you say that. But they are found at night time only and I also found them at night time. The tiny one I found by teleporting to the moon island mailbox and then jumping across to the little island with a pink flower on it. For the regular sized one, I found it in the same place as the tiny one. For the large one, I headed to the sunken ship and swam upwards towards the three boxes. I went on the box that has no picture on it. Now we're moving on to the kelp fin. They are found in the morning, daytime and nighttime. I caught them all at nighttime. For the tiny one, head to the sunken ship, swim up to the three boxes on the surface, then swim towards a large rock tunnel thing, I have no idea what it's called. <laughs> then on the same side of the treasure chest, jump across to the other side. For the regular one, just stand on top of the same rock tunnel thing you just did, the tiny one, and then cast your rod towards the left side. For the large one, jump down into the ocean and head diagonally to the blue rock that looks like a jelly bean. <laughs> there is a small beige like color rock thing you can stand on to get this fish. Then we're moving on to the mast rustler. <laughs> I have no idea how you say some of these. They are found at all times but I caught mine at night time. For the tiny one, go down to the sunken ship mailbox, swim up past the first set of three boxes, swim towards the next set of three boxes, then fish on the box that has no picture. For the regular sized one, you can catch it in the same spot as the tiny one. Next, for the large one, head to the cozy island mailbox, then go to the treasure chest and go down just a bit. Now we're moving on to the beautiful opal flutterfin, darling. They are found in the evening and at night time. I found mine in the evening. For the tiny one, head to the comedy club mailbox, swim up to the surface and then head into the general direction of the rainbow reef visitor house number two. There should be two boxes and you want to stand on the smallest one. Now for the regular sized one, I caught it in the exact same area as the tiny one. Next for the large one, I caught it in the exact same area as the other two. <laughs> Moving on, we have the Royal Lance, I believe that's how you say that, but I have no idea. They are available at all times, but I found mine at night time. The tiny one is located on the cozy island next to the bridge between the seaside resort and the cozy island which is just below visitor house number 8, the same spot where you found the tiny briny briny clamfish. <laughs> Binny, I don't know. For the regular sized one, you're going to need to head to the cozy island mailbox, jump to the island left of you, the one with the stony muddy path on it, and cast your rod from that sandy area there. For the large one, go to the Cozy Islands mailbox, jump diagonally and upwards towards a small, mostly grassy island with two palm trees on it. 
you'll want to cast your rod towards the direction of the trench. Next we have the Sandy Puffler. They are found in the evenings and at night times. I found them all in the evening. All three sizes are found in the same location as one another. Go to the Moon Island mailbox, follow the path towards the middle of the island, and then cast your rod on the sandy part. Now we're moving on to the Sunset Guppy. They are available at all times, but I found the regular one at night time, the large one and the tiny one during the day. For the tiny one, head to Moon Island's mailbox, follow the path to the other side, and then swim to the two blue rocks, then swim across, no, swim towards <laughs> the biggest blue rock that's further away from the others. For the regular size one, go to Moon Island's mailbox again, walk up the path a bit, and then put your fishing rod in the direction of the trench, now for the large one, head to Hopscotch Island's mailbox, go left onto the lower beach level. Now we're moving on to the Ruby Dreamscape. They are available at all times, but I found the regular one at evening. <laughs> and then I found the large one and the tiny one during the day. The tiny one and the large ones are in the ocean around where the broken bridge is, not too far away from the ghost tour ride mailbox. The regular one can be caught on Gemstones Mountains Pier. Now we're moving on to the Sailing Charmfish. I think that's how you say it? I have no idea. Now for the tiny one. Ah, they're only available at night. I didn't actually write it down. I'm slacking. <laughs> But yes, they're only available at night time and I also caught mine at night time. For the tiny one, you can catch it off Mount Hothead's Pier. For the regular size one, go to Moon Island, swim to the rock tunnel thingy my bobby, and then on the area in between the smaller rocks and the rock tunnel, you can fish. For the large one, go to the very same rock tunnel thing as you did for the regular size one, but this time you're going to go to the top all the way to the other side until you see a ledge that you can stand on. Now we're moving on to Rainbow Reef Critters. Don't forget your bubble wand because you're going to need it folks. Starting off with the Banner Beetle. They are found at all times but I found mine at night time. Go to Mount Hothead's Pier. Swim towards the pirate ship, but stop once you reach the four blue rocks. Now they tend to hang around this area and where the three boxes are in between the one blue rock and the four blue rocks, not the pirate ship boxes. Now we have the Crustacean. <laughs> They are found at all times, but I found mine at night time. They tend to be located on the paths around the comedy club between the Cozy Island Bridge and the comedy club. Now we have the Dream Shell Drifter. They are found at all times, but I found it at night time in the kelp maze. Now we have the Inky Blue Paw. They are found in the evening and at night time, but I found mine at night time because. Oh. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> they are located near the pirate ship's puzzle room entrance. Now we're moving on to one of my favourites, the Rainbow Ribbiter. They are found in the evening and at night time, but I found it at night time in the hall. <laughs> uh, anyway, moving on. Now we have the Sapphire Sea Pony. They are found at all times but I found it at night time around the comedy club. Then we have the slug naughty... No. <laughs> we have the slug... <laughs> it's not funny, I don't know why I'm laughing. The slug naughty... <laughs> They're found at morning, evening and at night time, but I found it at night time in the trench. Go to the Cozy Island mailbox, and swim directly across to the trench and it should be somewhere in between the two rock tunnel thingy my bobbies. Finally we have the Wally Pog. They are found at evening and I found mine in the evening. 
They're located in the kelp maze. Now it's time to get scary. We're going to the spooky swamp. We're going to catch all the fish and critters marked with a swampy icon. Bog clamfish. They are found at all times, but I found them at night time. They can be tricky to catch, so I suggest fishing with a controller. Don't, don't try doing it on your phone. Don't be like me. <laughs> um, but obviously don't fish with an actual controller. You need a, a fishing rod, yeah? <laughs> you know what I mean? You know what I mean? Um, but the other tip that I've seen online is to pick a random direction before it starts the mini game thing before it starts and just cross your fingers and hope you get lucky good luck to you now for the tiny and the large ones i found are collected by fishing um by the witch's hut pier and then for the regular sized one i decided to switch places for some reason um to just directly across from the way where i got the tiny one and the large ones but they can all be gotten from the pier so i'm not really sure why i moved <laughs> <laughs> now we're moving on to the Midnight Pike! They are found in the evening and at night time. I found mine at night time. Obviously. <laughs> and then for the tiny one, head to the start of the ghost tour ride, which is like the mini station where you get on the train. Follow the tracks until you reach the waterfall, then go to the smaller pond that's not too far away. For the regular sized one, go to the ghost train mailbox, follow the track that's heading up towards the edges of the spooky swamp, stop once you reach the waterfall. For the huge one, head to the start of the ghost tour ride, which is the mini station which I described before, and then follow the tracks until you reach the waterfall and then cast your rod into it! Next to it, not into it. <laughs> now we have the quagfish! They are found at all times, but I found them in daytime. For the tiny and regular sized ones, head to the nature reserve mailbox, preserve mailbox, and follow the path up towards the bridge that leads to the maze. Before you reach the bridge, cast your rod into the water next to it. For the large side, head to the ghost tour starting point, go down towards the tree with the green power crystal in it, Go onto the bridge and cast your rod into the water. Now we're moving on to the slime scale. I found them in the morning, but they are available at all times. For the tiny and regular sized ones, go through the resort gate, head towards the underwater puzzle room. Keep going, keep going until the sand changes color on the map. Align yourself sort of diagonally on the lower level from the third Three or three below? I have no idea. <laughs> Hopefully it makes sense when I show you the map. Now for the larger size ones, go to where visitor house three is and head towards the puzzle room, jump up to the higher level, then drop down onto where the sand starts again. Spirit Better is next. Babe, babe, I don't know. Um, but I found them in the evening and they can be found at evening and night time. For the tiny one, go to the spooky swamp mailbox, then go into the graveyard and go straight down to where there's water. Swim across to where the treasure chest is. Go up onto the rocks and fish. For the regular sized ones, go to the maze exit at the bottom, then go left towards the treasure chest once you're there, cast your rod. For the large one, go to the ghost tour mailbox and swim across to where the nearest puzzle room is located. Then above the puzzle room, climb down the rocks to, no, climb the rocks, sorry, <laughs> not climb down, um, to the upper level, go down a bit, and there we go. Next we have the Zebra Swampling. I found them at daytime, but they can be found at all times. For the tiny one, go to the Nature Preserve mailbox. Follow the path towards the bridge that goes over the pond. Once you're on the bridge, cast your rod into the smaller side of water. 
for the regular size one, head directly across from the nature preserve mailbox, then jump onto the lily pads that go higher and higher. On the highest one, cast your rod into the water. For the large one, go to the swamp entrance from the resort gate, follow the path that leads down a level to a small pier, then go next to the pier and fish. Now we're moving on to the spooky swamp critters. We are gonna pay a visit to our bush friend. They are found at night and in the evening. I found them at night in the head maze. Hedge maze. I found the best way to find them is to actually jump onto the hedges themselves and sort of look down. Now we're moving on to the grassy glow buddy. They are out at all times and are found around the ghost tour ride. I found them at night. Then we've got the orchid glow buddy. They are out at all times and they are found around the ghost tour ride and I found them at night. Then we have the lily frog. They are found in the lily pad lagoon where the small pier is in the morning, daytime and nighttime. I found them at night. Now we're moving on to the Phantom Flutterfly. They are found in the Spooky Swamp's graveyard. I found them at night. Now we're moving on to a Orange Pumpkin Spicer. They are found in the Pumpkin Patch by the Witch's Hut and I found them at night time. And then finally, we have the Swampy Snapper. Follow the path from by where the Mermidifier is and continue on that path until you get to the pier from around that area and you should find them. I also found them at night time. Now we're moving on to Gemstone Mountain. We're going to catch all the fish and critters marked with a rocky icon except for Moon Heron being up with their aquatic tag. But they're in the caves so I am putting them with their friends but anyway <laughs> gemstone mountain fish jeweled gobby goby i don't know i found them all in the daytime and they are available at daytime only that makes sense why i found them at daytime only for the tiny one head to the icy peak entrance mailbox and go down the rocks to the pond for the medium sized one, go to the icy peak entrance mailbox and go across to the side down the ladder to the pond. For the large one, go to the pond directly to the side of the icy peak mailbox. Now we're moving on to the mountain gulper. I found them all in the daytime but they are available at all times. For the tiny one, go to the pond directly to the side of the icy peak entrance mailbox. For the regular size one, go to the Gemstone Mountain Town, follow the wooden path up to the donut shaped pond, and then go to where the waterfall is. For the large one, go to where the Rocket Doodler minigame is, and go to the pond with a rock in the middle of it, not too far away from there. Now we have the Neon Longtail. I found them all during the day, but they're available at daytime and evenings. For the regular size one and the tiny one, go to Pom Pom Purin's boat, then go to the land opposite it. You'll have to swim across to get to it. For the large one, go to where you caught the regular one and the tiny ones from, and just go down a little bit. Now we're moving on to the Crystal Caves fish. First we have the Banded Splunker. They're around at all times, but I caught them during the daytime. Tiny and the regular ones are in the same place. And here is where the large one is. Moving on to the cabin clamfish. They are around at morning and daytime, but I caught them during the daytime. The tiny one is here, the regular one is here, 
And then the large one is here. Then we're moving on to the half moon herring. They are around at evening and at night time, but I caught them during the evening. The tiny one is here. The regular one is here. And the large one is here. Now we're moving on to Gemstone Mountain's critters. First we have the Arcachnic? I have no idea. <laughs> they are available in the daytime and evening. I caught them during the daytime. They aren't too far away from Gemstone Town. I like to hide by this pointy rock and then surprise them. <laughs> now we're moving on to the Frond Hawk. They are available at all times but I caught them in the morning. They are around the Oasis mailbox near the ladder. Then we have the Rockadoodla. They are available at all times, but I call them in the morning. They live in Gemstone Town. The Rosy Duster. They are available in the mornings and daytimes. I caught them in the morning. It's the level below Icy Peaks entrance mailbox. Not too far away from where you enter the mine. Now we're moving on to the Scarlet Scuttler. They are available in the day and evening. I caught them in the daytime around where the red rocks and sand are in between the Spooky Swamp and Gemstone Mountain. Then we're moving on to the Sunset Scooter. They are available um, in the evening only and that's when I caught them. And they're not too far away from Gemstone Mountain's pier. Now we're moving on to the tumble bag. They are available in the mornings, daytime and evening. I caught them in the evening around this donut pond here. Now we're moving on to the crystal cave critters. We have the twinkle bug. Enter the cave entrance nearest gemstone town. Go through the upper level pink door and around nighttime and evening you'll find them. I caught mine in the evening. Now we have the Stony Slugler. Enter the cave entrance nearest Gemstone Town and during the day you'll find them on the lower level. I caught mine during the day. Next up we have Mount Hothead. We're going to catch all the fish and critters marked with a volcanic icon. First off, we're starting with the Bottlefish. I caught them all at night time but they're available at all times. For the small one, go to where the pizza oven is and jump down to the lower level, go past where the lava is and go to the rock area. For the regular one, go to Mount Hothead's Pier. To find the huge one, head towards Gemstone Mountain's leftmost puzzle and then on the lower level and once you've reached the broken stairs, or fixed stairs on a later update, hopefully fingers crossed, um, go straight across to the beach. Now we're moving on to the burning perch. Sounds terrible. <laughs> um, but yes, they can be caught in the morning and that's when I caught mine. You'll have to be patient and maybe reel in other fish as you can't really see them until you're reeling them in. You can catch all three in the caldera, caldera, I, I don't know how you say it, and then you can catch the tiniest one in between roughly here, then for the regular one you're looking at around over here, and then finally for the large one you can catch it close to where you caught the tiny one. Now we have the flying springtail. They can be caught in the morning and daytime. I caught mine in the morning. But the tiny one, go to the hot springs mailbox. Go up until you reach the body of water where there's a little tiny island in the middle and just go up to the top of the water. For the regular one, go to the hot spring mailbox, but this time just step off and literally right where the signpost is um, and in between the rocks, Go fish gin! <laughs> I wrote go fish gin! <laughs> now we're moving on to the golden loach. They can be caught in the morning and daytime. I caught mine in the morning. 
For the tiny one, go to where you caught the tiny flying springtail, it's in the same place. For the regular sized one, go to Mount Hothead's Pier, walk towards the first visitor house closest to you with a pond. For the large one, go where you just caught the regular one, but this time go past there and carry on to the next bit of water. Now we're moving on to Mount Hothead's Critters. First we have the Eruptoad. You can find them in the morning and at night time. I caught mine at night. Head to the cal caldra, caldera, I don't know, mailbox and go across the rock bridge and they will just be there. They will just be there, okay? Okay. Then we have the fume fly or fume fly. I have no idea. They can be caught at all times. I caught mine in the evening, roughly between Mount Hothead and the hot springs on the rock stepping stone thingy bobs. And then we have the geyser, <laughs> geyser, I don't know, <laughs> I don't know how you say that, I've never seen that word in my life, um, glacier, uh, no, oh, I don't know, um, grub, they can be caught at all times, I caught mine in the evening, and luckily they're easier to catch than what it is to pronounce their name. <laughs> Yes, around the Mount Hothead Pier area. Then we have Grubble. <laughs> what a name. They can be cut at all times. I caught mine in the evening. I found that they were near the hot spring ponds closest to the stepping stones of doom between the hot springs and Mount Hothead. But they were definitely more um, closer towards the hot springs. Now we have Miss Ladybean. She's available at evening and night time by the ruins temples on Mount Hothead. I got mine by teleporting to the upper ruins mailbox and then sort of flying down in the direction of the pizza oven and I caught mine at night. Now um, we're moving on to the tiger snoot who gave me a bit of trouble. They are available all the time according to the wiki but I tried um i had to try it at like a different time because they weren't they weren't showing up for me at all um so then i think i was trying to find them at night and they weren't there but the wiki said they were there all day so i, I don't know i was really confused <laughs> i was really confused um but i had tried a different time and they they appeared and this little this little thing is the reason why i'm telling you my times <laughs> <laughs> yes, they are lurking around the Mount Hothead mailbox. If you're not seeing it when you first like load in, just like sort of um, teleport away to a different area, then come back, and then it should be there. Now we're moving on to Mount Hothead's um, ruins, caves, lava caves. I'm not really sure what they're called. But first, we've got the armored bass. They can be caught at all times. I caught mine at night. Here's where I caught the tiny one. Here's where I caught the regular one. Here's where I caught the large one. And of course, I will show you how to navigate the ruins in order to get these folks. Or fish, I should say. Now we have the magma clamfish. They can be caught in the evening and at night. I caught mine in the evening. Here's where the tiny one is. Here's where the regular one is. And here is where the large one is. Now for the Lava Caves Ruins Critters, we, first we have Magmita. They can be caught at all times. I caught mine in the evening. Let me show you how to get there and where I caught them exactly. Then we have the Stampedal. They can be caught at all times. I caught mine in the evening. Again, let me show you where they are. 
they're in a very similar place to where the magmiters are. Now, after all that heat, we need to cool down. We need to cool down. So let's take a trip to Icy Peak, where we will find the one and only thing that we can get there is a Woolox. They are found in the morning, and I also caught mine at morning. Teleport to the top of Icy Peak, the top um, mailbox. And then you're going to go past the tip of it a little bit and then towards like the edge you'll find the Woolocks. They are in other locations dotted around the map as well but here was the easiest place I could show you. Now we're moving on to Cloud Island's fish. There are a total of four different fish you can catch there so let's start with the Crescent Minnow. They are available in the morning, evening and at night time. I caught mine in the evening. Go to where you give the Cloud Island critters to the little knoll and they get to fly around this little island. Jump onto the first island, second island, third island and then the fourth island has a little circular pond where you can fish with the tiny one. Now for the regular one, fast travel to the cloud island that has the moon and the star pond. So you're going to want to go to the pond that's just one above the star pond and it's got like two little like slidey waterfally thingies and then just um, yeah that's where you'll catch the regular one. Now we're moving on to the large one. Now for this one, you're going to want to fast travel to where the Cloud Island Visitor House number 5 is. Then you're going to jump across to the little island and then there's a bigger island with a circular pond where you can fish up the large one. Now we're moving on to the Moonla. For the tiny one, you're going to want to go to the island that has the star pond and the moon pond. You're going to want to go to the pond that's on the left, which is the pond with just the one little slide thingy going into it. And it's the circular pond, you can't miss it. Now for the regular size Moonla, we're going to go back to the same island where we caught the tiny one from, we're going to go across to the other pond on the right, and it's the pond with the two slides, two water slide thingies, <laughs> and it's a circular pond and that's where you'll catch the regular. Now for the large, you can catch it in the exact same pond as you just caught the regular from. Now we're moving on to the Nebula Peeper. They are found in the Moon Pond and they can be found during the day, evening and at night time. I found mine at night. I also found the regular in the same place. And I also found the large one in the same place too. Now we're moving on to the Starlight Floater who can be found during the day and at night time. I found mine at night time for the tiny one. I found it in the Star Pond. These fish can be a little bit tricky so treat them like the bog clamfish in the Spooky Swamp. I also caught the regular and the huge in the same place as well. Now we're moving on to the Cloud Islands bugs or critters in this case. First we have the Cloud Dragon. Um, you will need Karopi to come with you to catch this, okay? You, you will need Karopi. And then they are available all day. Here is where I caught mine, but you can find them in multiple places around the Cloud Island. Then we have the Starry Nightwing, who is available in the evening and during the night. I think I caught mine at night or the evening. Well, <laughs> it's going to be one or the other. It's going to be one or the other. <laughs> I have been MX Moonstar and that has been the ride I've been working on for ages. <laughs> The Hello Kitty Island Adventure. I enjoyed it, but I never ever want to catch another bug or another fish in my life. <laughs> I'm going to go because um, this video is almost an hour long. Oh my god, how can that happen? 
how did that happen? Um, but yes, th thank you for watching. If you have made it to Tully Valley and comment what kind of pizza is your favorite pizza. I want to know. So thank you very much. Hopefully this helps. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below and I will do my best to help you. And yeah. I've been MX Moonstar Tata. -ta. Oh, and I would like to say a big thank you to the wiki for my info. And yeah.